Hi, this is Chris Davis of Slash Gear, and this is Ink in Motion. It's one of e Ink's special custom displays. Uh, underneath here, we have a, an e Ink panel similar to what you'd find in your Amazon Kindle or your Barnes and Noble Nook. And by putting it behind a color overlay, uh, just as if you were having a, a coloring panel, uh, you can show various motion effects for um, uh, for promotional campaigns and for store shelves. And on the back. Uh, it's a small battery compartment, and the batteries, we're told, will last for a very, very long time, uh, making it quite a, a, a low-maintenance product. That's E-Ink's Ink in Motion. This is E-Ink Surf. It's segmented, ultra-thin, rugged, and flexible. And as you can see, it's basically a display that's built into a credit card. Now, if I press the button on the back, you get a unique one-time code on this tiny, ultra-thin E-Ink panel. Uh, it's sunlight visible, just like your Kindle is. Uh, there's a battery inside the card which will last for about two years or maybe longer um, and the idea is that your bank can use that uh, unique transaction code to avoid credit card fraud um, you punch that in every time you make say an online purchase and there's no likelihood of someone else getting your credit card number and cloning it and pretending to be you so that's Ink Surf smart card uh, and we're told that they'll be out on the market very soon thanks for watching uh, I'm looking, obviously this is a Barnes & Noble Nook with the monochrome ink uh, pearl panel, uh, but this is ink's new colour display. Now underneath the colour panel is this, a similar uh, monochrome panel as in the, the Nook, but on top of it there's a colour filter layer. Now that allows ink to uh, produce a very low power display, only requires power when it actually changes the pixels, uh, but it also gives a colour image. Uh, that's sunlight readable, so the brighter the ambient light is, the brighter the picture is. And this is in a sort of demo mock-up uh, reference design hardware, but there are already two companies with products already announced and there are more in the pipeline. And uh, this is, again, running at around 160 ppi. Uh, Inks working alongside Epson to uh, develop uh, a panel and the driver hardware for it, which will run at around 300 dpi, so that's even more um, refinement on the text and images.